Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for. Well, you know, typically these tend to be, you know, five, five or six or seven days out. I mean, it, some days they're like happening right now, but you know, I feel like it's, it could be three days out, could be five. It, honestly, it's usually about a week, maybe a little bit less. That's what I think, anyway, for me. Anyway, what do we got? What do we got for a message today? Dear God, angels, spirits, and universe. We have somebody here that's acting in a very irresponsible manner. They're being inflexible. They have no long-term plan. They're not qualified. They're about to experience a financial loss because they don't put in a lot of effort. Um... <laughs> Knight of Pentacles. Hard work pays off. If you don't want to have a loss, you're going to have to put in effort. Hierophant. We could be dealing with somebody in authority that is abusing their power. This is somebody that's having a hard time doing the right thing due to society. Somebody under a lot of social pressure. Somebody that doesn't listen to their gut. They're not very spiritual. They're not spiritual at all. They may be in a relationship that they are no longer in the same pa on the same page. But they are holding on to it because of stability for the financial reasons, right? It's stable. Could be a marriage. Could be a commitment. It doesn't have to be a marriage. But it's some sort of commitment. But we do have somebody here that is under a lot of social pressure to be in a commitment or to be married or to be with somebody. But I don't, I don't think that they are in it for any kind of love reasons. They're in it for financial reasons or because it's something to hold on to, right? It is. Um, super safe too. Somebody may be in a super safe kind of situation where it's, you know, it's, it's financial secure, financially secure, but I, oh, where's the love? Ah, oh, hmm. Now we both have, we have, we have a few cards about legal issues. Okay. Um, there could be some legal, um, legalities that are coming up. Okay. There could be somebody that is going to court. Somebody could be filing for divorce. Somebody could be filing something against a father figure because the Hierophant reversed is some sort of father figure who wants to be an authority. Okay. This person wants to be an authority. He thinks he's an authority. He, uh, likes to be in charge, but, um, in the reversed, this person is uh, abusing their power. Okay? Justice is uh, about integrity. It's about the law. It's about something going in, you know, legal issues going in somebody's favor. Um, somebody could be unhappy about a legal issue not going in their favor. And now they're trying to abuse their power. Um, hmm. This is a card of karma. These are the laws of karma. Now this is also a card of consequences. This could be a father figure who is not acting with integrity and they could end up suffering some consequences. This is a feeling disgraced. We could have somebody that may become disgraced when the truth comes out. Because this is the truth. The justice system, the real justice system, has no tolerance for lies. This is a fair and just decision that has been made based on practicality, based on stability. But we have somebody here that's not happy with the decision that has been made. And there could be some more upcoming uh, charges for this father figure who is abusing his power. King of Pentacles could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, doesn't have to be. This is Taurus. This is a Libra. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here. Doesn't matter because we all have Earth in our chart. This person is uh, very hard. Wants to hold on. Really wants to hold on. Definitely wants to be the boss. Wants to be in control.
We have a fool here, somebody that is foolish. Ooh, somebody is in a loveless situation. Remember, I, didn't I start the reading out like that? Where's the love? There ain't none. There ain't none. If somebody is in a relationship just for the money, just for the assets, just for the stability, they're definitely acting foolishly. But this is a card of freedom and blind faith, a spur of the moment decision. We have a new journey that is about to begin. We have some I think that we have somebody here that is making a decision to leave behind something that was stable and financially stable because they're just not on the same page with this person at all. There's no love there. So somebody has been holding on to something just for the money. It's an unrequited love situation. They may have foolishly chosen all that. And now it's like there's no love. It's like they see there's no love. They see there's no love at all. I think we have somebody here that is choosing to, you know, take a risk and leave it all behind. Holding on is getting old. You don't want to end up dying alone or dying with somebody you don't love. So somebody has been resisting change. They've they've been resisting this transition. They've been in a loveless commitment, whatever kind of commitment it is, and it, it's all based on financial stability or having somebody told, but there's no love there, and I think that it, it's, I can't hold on anymore. You know, this is this this holding on is definitely getting old. Um, oh, God, this is, this is a, a, a breakup of some sort. Somebody has been really uh, focusing on letting go, not being able to let go, holding on to a loss, uh, crying, moping, pouting, um, not seeing or not acknowledging, not acknowledging that there's another opportunity. They may have some regrets. They probably, uh, maybe they feel guilty. They feel guilty for hurting another person, for involving another person. It feels like we have somebody here that wants to go back. I, I, you know, I, I don't even need any. I feel like we have somebody here that wants to go back to somebody that they love. and Or they want to go back to love. They want to be loved, but they're in a loveless situation. And they probably have a lot of regrets for involving that other person. They only did it because of social pressure. You know, they wanted to make themselves look better. Or they wanted to feel better. You know, it was a rebound kind of thing. And maybe they needed that person to help pay for things. And, you know, maybe they want to do the right thing now. They're choosing, you know, they want to bring balance back to their life. They want, they want something more emotionally fulfilling. And the only way to have that is to... Uh, say to hell with what you're paying me or to hell with the money you know I want love I can't hold on to this anymore I can't keep focusing on this loveless situation I feel like we have somebody here that is about to take a risk they're ready to fly they're ready for a new beginning they're ready for love it's like I want love I want love it's not about the money anymore it's not about the things it's not about the assets it's not about the social pressure it's about love so and I don't and I know a lot of people you know, are really, really focused on their money. It's, it's clear that that is very prominent in this, uh, era. Okay. Or has been right in this time. But if there's no passion, if there's no attraction, if there's no fertility, if there's no growth, why stay there? So I feel like we have somebody here that where the, 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 there's like a commitment or a relationship or something that is going south. Um, there's really no attraction. There's no, there's, there's probably no, uh, vitality left. There's, it's like, there's no growth in it. The only reason that somebody is there is for, is for the money, for the assets, but it is going south. There's no excitement. Um, 
And I think that we have somebody here that is more attracted to somebody that is uh, more awakened. This person is a healer. This is this is a psychic. This is a tarot reader. This is somebody who is um, very gifted. This person is also very seductive and very sensual and very self sufficient. Self sufficient. This is a fortress. She doesn't need anybody. This person doesn't need anybody to take care of them. Okay. I feel like this. We have somebody here that um, is making a decision based on their gut as well. It's like their gut is telling them that they need to go in this direction. This is a very intuitive, somebody is dealing with a very intuitive individual and that's who they have their eye on. That's who they want. This is a very spiritual person. Somebody is wanting to develop something with this person. Ten of Pentacles reversed. Now the Ten of Pentacles reversed is, is a dying dream. I think we have somebody here that is having regrets over... Focusing more on their money, focusing more on their job, folks focusing more on their assets than they did love. And maybe their family or the person that they love has turned their back on them. Now there could be a big, huge family feud because of this whole uh, game. I think we have somebody here that is changing homes, they're moving homes, they're choosing, this is the choice, they're making the right decision based on the truth, based on the facts, based on what it is, their gut is telling them, it's, it's, it's head and intuition, okay, it's the facts, it's my gut is telling me and I know. I know, I know, I got all the information I need. This is not compatible. I don't want to be here. It's not comfortable. There's a change in the environment at home. Somebody is moving home. Because they know that there's no growth. They know that they're not that there's no passion. There's no excitement. There's no compatibility there. I feel like we have uh, somebody that is, is, is breaking up, for sure. We have a breakup here. We do. It's like somebody just realizes that the only way to find balance is to do what they know that they have to do. It's like, I know that, I, I know that this isn't real. And I have to do this. So we do have a major new beginning here. Somebody is traveling to a new destination by themselves. And they're leaving everything behind. The fool only takes a tiny little bit. They're, they are. They're, they're, they're starting fresh. Starting from scratch. Somebody may want a fresh start. Somebody from the past. Those fell over. We're going to take them. Three of Cups. Page of Cups reversed and the Emperor reversed. Whew. Now this is a third party relationship. Page of Cups reversed is the unrequited love situation with somebody that is very controlling and manipulative and likes to be in control. This person uh, is, is a corrupt. They engage themselves in criminal activity. They engage themselves in third party situations. They don't care who they hurt. They need to be in control. They feel as though they are entitled. 
this person is on the wrong side of the law. Um, there could be a child involved, but they are, this person is definitely uh, in an unrequited love situation. And the only reason they're in it is because of social pressure, for sure. That's it. That's it. They want to have as, as, they want to get as much attention as they can. This person um, likes to socialize, loves attention, and... Um, I feel like this I feel like this is a narcissist. I feel like we have a narcissist here that is about to be abandoned. I feel like this narcissist is about to uh get some sort of karma. They could be getting some karma from this high priestess. This high priestess is an intuitive that is very very powerful. Very powerful. Um, this, they, something to do with money. They could lose some money. There could be something to do with the home. And, and, and the, and this, this is universal as well. So the universe could be bringing some karma that has to do with the home. Okay. They could be a big financial loss that involves the home. Okay. At home, there could be a huge cost. I mean, it could be a $10,000 situation. Something could cost $10,000. Karma works in materialistic ways. Just saying. So we, this is angry. We could have somebody here that gets very, very angry. They get upset. They love attention. We have an attention seeker here. I feel like this person is about to go down. I think that... Um, whoever they have been with they were using they were using this somebody has been using another person for materialistic reasons and just to have anybody maybe for materialistic reasons and to have sex but it was no love okay there was no love there and the fact is is they were trying to heal they were trying to cover up their feelings for somebody else that's what they were doing so that's why they engaged this person but I do feel as though there is going to be a decision that is made, whether it's made from the universe or it's made from another person. There's a choice or a decision that is being made to restore balance in a situation. And the only way to restore balance is to change this family dynamic, to change this, this situation, to let it end. It has to end. Somebody is walking away with the fool card. They're, they're, they're leaving everything behind. Somebody is like, you keep it. I don't want it. Keep it. Somebody is definitely in an unrequited love situation and they're about to find out. They're about to find out that the person that they are dealing with is not in love with them. That's what I got. And this person is doing it because they have to tell the truth. It's like it's now it's time to act with integrity. This is an inner knowing. I think we have somebody here that knows that this is knows that this is the right thing. I got to do this. I got to end this situation that makes me so uncomfortable. So we have the end of an uncomfortable situation because somebody is deciding to face their fears and go in another direction because this is not love. Somebody is dealing with a, a very entitled individual who isn't really looking for love. They're looking for play. They want to play with as many people as they can. And the truth, this person, and, and the person senses the truth. It's like, I know what you're doing. I know. I'm not stupid. So anyway, I feel as though this holding on is getting old. I feel like... Um, we have somebody here that really wants 
to reunite with somebody from their past and they involved another person just for a rebound and they don't care who they hurt they don't care who they hurt because you know they're in love with the person from the past um, so they've engaged many other people to fulfill their basically their supply you know their needs um, but and I feel like the supply or the person that has been used is, you know, seeing the light. We have the end of a situation at home. Somebody is moving. There's sadness, there's grieving. This isn't love, there's a, there's, this isn't love. I mean, what more can I say? Somebody is leaving behind an unrequited love situation and they're going someplace else. I mean, that is the fool, this is a fresh start. They're starting over on new territory. They're realizing that there's something better. And I think that we have somebody here that is going to be reconciling. They want to reconcile with the one that they love. Good luck.